Well, hello guys. It's Donna from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you're doing well. What we're going to do, flavor twisters, we are going to make a quick and easy slab of ribs. In front of you, I have a um, St. Louis style rib. And I have two seasonings, some cherry cola seasoning from Kinder's. And I have the blend. Now, the blend has salt, pepper, and garlic in it. We're going to use that on both sides of the rib. And this cherry cola seasoning, it has brown sugar and cherry flavor. So, and the way we're going to cook this, guys, is going to be real quick and easy. We're going to put them in the pressure cooker for um, 30 minutes. So, let's get started. What I want to do now... Is take some of that blend and sprinkle it on the rib. Okay. It's going to be a real quick and easy recipe, guys. And we're going to do the same thing with the cherry cola. This smells so good. I'm going to have to open the other side of this because... It's not coming out that good through the little holes. Okay, look at that, guys. And it smells like cola. Mmm, yum. Now we're going to put some on the other side. Okay. Flip it over here. And I'll rub it in a little once I sprinkle it on. This is a pretty big rib, guys. I'll do the same thing on this side. And I'm putting a generous amount on it. Okay. Now. And this is a beautiful rib, guys. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. Just get it all in there. Rub it in. Okay. Flip it back over. And do the same thing. Now all we have to do is put these in the pressure cooker. And we're going to let these go for 30 minutes. Okay. So now, let me get the pressure cooker prepared. Okay, guys, what we're going to do, I have a cup of orange juice here. And we're going to put that in my Ninja pressure cooker. Okay. And now we're going to put our rib in. And this is pretty big, guys. So what we're going to do is just sit it in there and just let it go around like that. Okay, now I'm going to put the lid on it and we're going to set it for 30 minutes. Okay, now I have the pressure cooker lid and we're going to put this on. And I have it backwards, of course I do, Donna. And we're going to put this on. I always have problems with this lid. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do, come down here, and we are going to set this. And we're going to set this for pressure. It goes on high automatically, and I'm going to click 30 minutes on here. There we go, and just push start, and after 30 minutes, We'll get these babies in the oven. I'm going to put them in the oven so they can brown and finish cooking in the oven. See you then. Okay, guys, it has been 30 minutes, and we are going to take our rib out of the pressure cooker and put it back on the pan, and we're going to put it in the oven. Hold on. Okay, guys, now we're going to put our rib in the oven at 375 degrees, and we're going to cook it, and we're going to brown it on both sides. Hi guys, I'm back, and I left our rib 
in the oven on 375 for 30 minutes. And remember, we pressure cooked them for 30 minutes. And I put them in the oven. And look at this, guys. And you could tell by the bone here that these ribs are tender. So what I'm going to do is let these cool off. And then I'm going to slice them. Put barbecue sauce on them. Put them back in the oven for 15 more minutes just so the sauce can glaze on them. And guys, our ribs are done. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I put the ribs on the cutting board and I separated the bones. So what I'm going to do now, I have my barbecue sauce. Take your favorite barbecue sauce. And what you want to do is just brush it on the ribs like this. And we're going to put them in the baking sheet right here. And then we are going to put them back in the oven just for the sauce to glaze on them. And I mean to tell you guys, these ribs are tender. They really are. And that was only an hour's cooking time. Put them in the pressure cooker for half an hour with the orange juice. And then I took them out, put them in the oven for half an hour. It's not hard, guys. So this is all you have to do. Brush the sauce on this side. And then I'm going to put them in the baking dish. And we're going to sauce them on the other side. Okay, let's get these babies in the baking dish. And just pick them up. And when I put them in, I'm going to flip them. Whew. You see the um, meat is real tender. Just turn them over. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, can you see the baking dish? No, you can't. There we go. <laughs> and what we're going to do, after I get them all in the baking sheet, one button in the baking pan, I'm going to sauce them on this side also. Okay. And this meat is tender, guys. You can see it. And what you want this to do, we're going to put them in the oven for about maybe 15 more minutes. You want the sauce to glaze on the barbecue. Okay. That's what you want. And this is just one slab of red. But what I like about the St. Louis ribs, guys, they are nice, tender, and meaty. And we eat baby backs all the time. But I said, let me do a St. Louis rib this time. And you can see how, look how tender that is. It's falling right off the bone. Can't go wrong with that. Okay. All righty. Put it in there. Ooh, piece of meat. I'm eating that piece of meat. I don't know about y'all. Okay, let me move this. And I'm going to throw this end piece right up in here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is sauce this side and put it back in the oven. Okay, guys, we're saucing the other side. And I'm going to throw these back in the oven for them. And I'm not going to cover them because they're really tender. So I want the sauce to kind of glaze on the meat. So I'm going to put them in there uncovered for about 15 minutes. And that's at 375. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Talking about fall off the bone. It's a bone. This, that piece is. Okay. We got the other side sauced up real good. Okay. And you just use your favorite barbecue sauce. Um, you don't really have to make it. Um, this is Sweet Baby Ray's. I love Sweet Baby Ray's. Sometimes I use sticky fingers. It all depends. And let me tell you, the honest God truth, guys, is what's ever on sale. <laughs> So do you when it comes to that. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Mmm. Yum. 
And like I said, this is a quick and easy recipe. Ribs in about an hour and 15 minutes. But the trick is, guys, put them in that pressure cooker or instant pot for 30 minutes. And that will make them real tender. And then when you put them in the oven to brown, they get even more tender. So, that's it. So, guys, these are going back in the oven for 15 minutes. See you then. Okay, guys, I'm back. And it has been 15 minutes. And look at our ribs. Now, what we want to do is taste these. Look at them, guys. Look at how tender. Oh, my. I'm going to lose this bone getting this off the pan. Look at this. Mm, and you can see that it's smoking, too. Mmm, yum. Let's have a taste. Look how the meat is breaking up. Believe me, these will fall off the bone. But they're still on the bone. Oh, look at this, guys. Mm-mm-mm. Whew. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Why did I touch that thing and it's hot? Guys, I'm trying to tell you. These ribs are delicious. And in that 15 minutes, that sauce soaked all the way through the bone. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. So, for this recipe and more, go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. So this is Flavors with a Twist. These are my, as I would say, my um, pressure cooked barbecue ribs, and then I baked them. I pressure cooked them for 30 minutes, baked them for 30 minutes, I sauced them, and then I let them go bake for 15 minutes. So that's a total cooking time of one hour and 15 minutes. And guys, I want to share this with you. I just came out with my first cookbook, Flavors with a Twist, at Home Chef. And it is available on Amazon right now. You can get the horror copy, and it's in paperback and the ebook that you can download. So give my book a try, guys. It has a lot of flavor with a twist recipes in it that you will love and your family will love too. So this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.